So I'm here at nine in the morning getting my COVID test. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I never got a COVID testing before. I'm waiting for them to come out. Uh, and then right after that, I get, what do I do? I, I start working. So I don't really have much time to just hang and chill. So as some of you know, I'm getting tested for COVID to relocate. So this is the PCR uh, test. So let's see, this is step one. Step one is the PCR test. So let's see how this goes. What I do? So you take up the test in the swamp? Oh my God, is it supposed to be blood? in my nose. I wonder if um, it'll come in time. I need it by the 28th. Today's the 26th, right? Mm -hmm. I need it by the 28th. So I hope that it comes in she said time. two to five days. It's, she did say two to five days, right? Mm -hmm. She said maybe a little quicker than that. Hopefully sooner than that. Hey guys, so it is now January 27th and it is 6 o'clock. I have 16 hours until my flight and it's looking pretty much like a dub. I called Walgreens, which is where I got tested. I said that more than likely I'm not getting my results until Friday. My flight is tomorrow, Thursday, January 28th at four o'clock, 4.35. Um, at this point, it's looking like a dub for me. I want to relocate out of the tri-state area, the New York, New Jersey tri-state area. It's something that's just not allowing me to go. I don't know what it is, I don't know why i don't i don't know what it is that is keeping me here um and this is pre-pandemic it's just i just could not get out of new york and now that i'm thinking i have taken a lot for granted um before the pandemic i take it for granted the fact that i should have stayed in brazil i should have stayed in south america i should have got a visa there i should have just moved instead of coming back and wanting to be with family because um, I would not be in this predicament that I'm in right now. I honestly feel sad, I feel really, really sad. And I've come to terms that if I don't get my results within the time frame that I'm supposed to get them, which is by 10 o'clock tomorrow, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel my flight and cancel my Airbnb and I will not be going back to Brazil. It's such a gamble. It's a huge gamble. 
like, you know, you just don't know if you are going to get your results back in time. You just really don't know. And I've read articles that many of people had to cancel their flights because of that. And I don't want to do it no more. If I got to take a test to go somewhere, I'm not doing it. I'm just not going. I will update you about tomorrow. Tomorrow might be in a big ball of tears um, because I have to move back to either Harlem or, or Brooklyn. I don't want to move back to Brooklyn or Harlem. I don't want to be in the tri-state area at all. I, I, I really want to leave. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Like, I have literally, I know some people are like, oh, it's a bad job, man. Just, you know, you can't leave, da da da. And I'm just like, to be honest, I have sh literally struggled, literally throughout my 20s. As many of you seen my 20s um, video, it was not a walk in the park for me. Like, this is the first time in my life where things are actually going uphill. And, like, it's just, I have no idea. I, I don't know what it is that's keeping me in this dumbass city not somewhere I want to be. I, I grew up here. This is all I know is the tri-state area. It's the New York, New Jersey tri-state area. That's all I know. I, I don't know how other places are. Everything is so expensive here. The cost of living is terrible. The dating scene, I don't even want to get into that. That's horrible. The dating scene is a joke. Man, once I get my own place, I'm not dating like period i will not date as much as i want to date i wanted to wait to like go out of this state to date i do not want to date in new york like i just i don't want nobody from new york i don't want no one from here oh my goodness it's so terrible your soulmate is not in new york city your soulmate is not in jersey the men out here terrible disgusting i would not recommend mm -mm. I know some of y'all would probably be like, oh, like, it's so different from, like, Southern men. I'm like, at least Southern men care about family. New York men don't care about family. They don't want nothing. They don't want no family. They don't want no kids. They don't want no marriage. They don't want a white picket fence. They don't want nothing, child. They just want to smash and dash. That's all they want here. It's so, it's so ghetto. Yeah, I'll keep you updated about tomorrow. All right, friends, we are heading out. So really quickly, I did get my results at four o'clock in the morning. So wow, what a turnaround. I am now heading to JFK, so let's go. Goodbye, New York.
Hey friends, so I made it back to Brazil. So I'm here, but I am in a completely different state. I am in Salvador, Bahia. So I made it. I literally went through an entire roller coaster of like emotions and now here I am and I'm gonna go get something to eat. So <sighs> tune in every week for a new video. I'll talk with you soon.